Welcome to the Christian Center Church Podcast. If you'd like to sow into this ministry, you can do so at the link below. Thank you for joining us, and we hope the message today will bless you. All right. I'm excited. Amen. I said, Brother Jerry, you say that all the time. Well, when y'all hear me quit saying it, y'all need to get concerned and come check on me. Amen. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you know uh, what you got to do is, is get, get to that place that, that you're going to let God do what he wants to do. Now, you know what? We've, we've been really well at, really good. I probably had a Ph.D. in it telling God what I wanted him to do. <laughs> I had a degree in that. I mean, I did they just awarded me one, amen, for doing that. But, you know, and, and, and what we really need to do is come to the Lord and begin to smarten up and begin to trust God. Let me tell you, if you'll learn, this morning I want to speak on wisdom and understanding, amen. My grandfather used to tell me, my, my grandfather was about six foot tall, and I had a pretty good foot on me all my life. And my grandfather told me, he said, son, he said, you got a good understanding, but it's a long ways from your head. He was talking about my foot. <laughs> I didn't understand that too much. I was just a little boy. What's he talking about? <laughs> but, you know, if you desire to understand, God will reveal. And a much of the stuff that, that, that we go through in life with people and the Lord and just living, we misunderstand. And, so, and the stuff we misunderstand and miss out on, it, it's the stuff we don't have the wisdom to deal with. You know, I think times I don't need money. I need wisdom. Then I seen times I got the wisdom, I need the money. Yeah. You know, what we have to do is get to the place to know that God cares about you. You know, the Word of God tells us that if a man lacks wisdom, what he's supposed to do? He's supposed to ask to God. Now, that, that, I guess with that, you understand that you're not going to get it and need it if you don't say something about it. Amen. Oh, some people say, well, if God knows, why don't he go ahead? Because God's a communicator and he wants you to be one too. How many of y'all want your kids to talk to you in your house? How many of your kids? Well, come on. Yeah. I think we ought to do a little something, amen. You know, we live in a time that, that, that wisdom is going to not must not need be, but must be sought. If, if we're really walking with the Holy Spirit like we should, a lot of things will work out better, can we say amen? And you know, it's sad, but it's very common for people to go through life without wisdom of understanding in their life. They just, just go on. Else they say things, I don't understand why people do that. Some things you'll never understand what people do. But sometimes you understand people are broken. People have these problems. People are just people. <laughs> I found that to be the biggest problem with people. Them just being people. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the big problem with them. Can you say amen? <laughs> Sister Wanda and I were talking about teenagers, talking about kids. And y'all know we're we not for abortion or anything like that until a kid gets about 15, 16. <laughs> then we talk about taking them down to the clinic. <laughs> It's Wednesday, son. You know what Thursday is, don't you? <laughs> so sometimes, you know, we, we, we got to bring it to children's understanding, amen, and be said, aren't you glad, though? Aren't you glad God hadn't killed you for being bad? Now, I know it's not but me and another person in here been bad and the rest of y'all been good. We just want to let y'all know we dodged a bullet. God's good to us, amen. We are special under the blood. Now, if you ain't been forgiven, get with me, amen. <laughs> you know that people that... That, that are without the Holy Spirit and without the Word of God. And I know this in the actions of others, and I know this by experience. When you are without the Word of God and without the Holy Spirit in your life, you will struggle. You'll struggle with life. You'll struggle with people. You'll struggle with things. They'll get God glory. Amen. The Lord maketh the load light. The Lord un make the understanding. The Lord will the Lord give us with no misery. How many of y'all know that? Sometimes you pick up that stuff, and it has all kind of misery with it. Oh, my goodness, Brother Jim, but I almost got it paid for. Well, send her back to her mother. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you know, without wisdom, we'll just struggle and laugh with others. And, you know, it's, it's all that some people know. Struggling with themselves and struggling in life and struggling with the, That's all they know. Now, let me tell you, struggling is good. It's proof that you've not given up. But there ought to be a time and a place that I can get hold of wisdom and understand what God's saying about myself and about things around me, and it'll begin to change that. You know what people do when they struggle about life and people? They just fill in the blanks, whether it's good or bad. You see, some people just fill in the blanks. They think everybody's a good person. Not everybody's a good person. And the other person feels it because they're struggling. Everybody's a bad person, and they fill in that blank. Can you say amen? Come on. 
Because we're going by, we have no wisdom about the situation. We don't have an understanding of the person. You know, just tell, let, let me tell you, sometimes that guy that cut you off at the, at the light and cut you off and, and you want to throw him that middle finger. I know you didn't want to, but you did. some of you did. I know I did. But you know, if we really come to the place to understand it and really have the wisdom, maybe they're trying to get somewhere important like a child at school. He ought to left early. He ought to get there. Now, we're faulting for that. But let me tell you, some things are going on with people that we don't know about. Now, we don't understand. We struggle. We, we don't, some people don't try to understand other people. Try to not, not. Let me tell you what. When I got married, it was a whole new understanding. Can you say amen? <laughs> but, you know, when people say this, well, they filled in the blanks about me. I went over there and they judged me. I went over there, they didn't treat me. They treated me like I was my brother over there. And, I, and they don't like my brother, just let me let you know. They treated me like I was my brother. People's filled in the blanks with us. Let me tell you about that. When people fill in, when people fill in the blanks with you, just thank God they don't know any more on you. Just thank God they don't have all that juicy information. Just thank God they don't know about you. Amen. Let them tell what they want to do. Oh, they talking about the cat I run off out of the yard. They don't know a whole, whole litter away. Yeah, what that boy told me, he said, it's more fun than a hammer and a basket of kittens. One guy's going, now she thought I'm hitting them, hitting them cats. I just said, I got a hammer and got a box of kittens. She thinks I'm going to hit them. I don't know with her. She's struggling with me this morning. <laughs> but, you know, I know, I know what it is, but it's not an excuse. You know, you know, people judge other people because they because they feel judged. People reject people because they feel rejected. People, pe- people, don't, we don't get the, a- the the action that we want. We give them the reaction that they don't even know they needed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, when, when you, just thank God. You know, when you, when you feel like people's talking about you that they don't know more. You know, when we understand instructions, you know, it brings increase. When you start having understanding, you'll, you'll know how to take care. So look with me in Proverbs 16, 22. I'm going to blow through these this morning because I got some understandings. A list. He's got a list of understanding. Amen. Proverbs 16, 22. He said, understanding is a well springing of life unto him that have it. But the instruction of a fool is folly. Amplified says it this way. And I like this. Now look at me. Uh, this understanding in, in most translations, the Amplified and American Standard, a lot of them, it uses the word spiritual insight. And I like that. I like it now, but I didn't like it when it sounded too new agey. <laughs> now everything's got spiritual insight, witches and whatever, you know. But who knows, we got the Holy Spirit, can you say amen? 22, it says this, understanding, spiritual insight is a refreshing and boundless well springing up of life Who's you have, who have it, excuse me, but give instruction and correction to a fool is foolishness. And man, I, I tell you, some people you'll never correct. Some people you can never direct. Some people you struggle with were their kids, your neighbor, your ex, or your wife, or your husband. It's nice when nobody's around. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way. But you know what really what the deal is that, that, that it says that wisdom changes things as a well of life. You know that you're talking about arid people. You're talking about people that live in a, in a waterless area for most of the part. And the well is very important. We fight over them. We, we inherit them. We, we, we have them. And he said this is something that changes your life. But who knows, just like in the natural, you've got to come to the place where the water's at. You've got to come to the place. Wisdom and understanding builds and, and brings increase and establishes things in our life. You said, but I don't know how they put that together. Wisdom. So I don't know how they get that kind of favor, uh, understanding and established with the Lord. You know, you know how much better we would be off if we understood what God wanted more often than us trying to make God understand what we want. No, oh, here we go. Amen. Proverbs 13, 20 says, He that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Woo! You know, my, I was raised as a kid. Well, I was raised as a kid. You know, not what you're supposed to call anybody a fool. But I found out they out there. Can you say amen? You, you shouldn't call them that. You know, you, it, it, the word tells us, but it is a certain thing, but not in a way that's against the way God has set it up for us. And he said there is a such thing as a fool. You know that if you won't take instruction, you won't take wisdom, you're a fool. 
Now, according to the word, I, now don't get mad at me. Get fat, bad at father. And I bet you don't run your head to him like you do. <laughs> I'm not. I'll talk smack with you, but I ain't smoking smack with God. Proverbs <laughs> yeah. 24 and 3 says, Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. You know, how many of y'all know that homes need wisdom of God and understanding of what God wants, you know? He says, through wisdom, my house is built. He didn't say, through wisdom, my house magically appears. Now, you know, build means to have structure. It means, to, it means that there's some, something going on. It means somebody has put some effort into it. Can you say amen? He said, though of wisdom, 23, 23, through wisdom the house is built and understanding it is established. You know, the house here is just not a regular house. It means the same word for a palace, a place, or a temple. It's in the wisdom and understanding builds the temple. It builds the Let me tell you, wisdom is what we need to build the house of God. Wisdom what we need to build our families. Wisdom is what we need to build this temple that we live within. Can you say Amen. You know, some people uh, do not need healing. They just need to quit eating certain things. This is truth. Some people are so allergic to it, it almost puts them in the hospital. They can't figure it out. But you sure love that bread and butter. Man, bread and butter might be getting you down. I don't know what it is. but what, You know, wisdom to understand really what's going on, Amy. I seen a guy one time, Sister Brenda, I didn't like him. And the more I looked at him and checked him out, and the more I found out about him, he was more like me and I wanted him to be. <laughs> Y'all don't know. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I kept arguing in the mirror. I finally come to him. <laughs> Proverbs 9, 9 and 9. He said, give instruction to a wise man. We know you give it to a fool. You just, it just is foolish. He ain't going to happen. He said, give instruction to a wise man. He'll be yet wiser. Teach a just man. And he will increase in learning. So what the deal is, it's learning. Understand it. It's instruction to make us wiser. You know, you, can, can you value this stuff? You know, some people don't value wisdom. Yeah, you know, I ain't going to get, but you ain't going to try to overwork it. Look, that's your problem. You underworked it. <laughs> You've been underworking it all the way over here. <laughs> You know, sometimes we got to just get a little bit. And, and people pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. And we miss what the, the, the answer is, what the need is. We miss it because we don't have any understanding on it. Amen. We want it the way we want it. I told you the best way to get them to fix that burger. Just tell them to fix it the way they want to. And you'll get a burger about like they want it. <laughs> Some things you can't control. But, you know, when I fix a burger at my house, I fix it about like I want it. Can you say Amen. <laughs> You got to be smart enough, amen. But you got to see the value in wisdom and understanding. You have to see the value. You know, m most people want, now, I think, I, I Google something too, but know what we need to do? We need to get in the habit of Googling God and Googling the Word. Can you say amen? <laughs> and what was that? That was Sister Jessica. She was going to go fact check me Wednesday. I said something. She said, oh, what did, I don't know. I said, oh, you're going Google, huh? She said, <laughs> did, well, did you look? No, you didn't. But you wanted to, didn't you, sis? Yes, she did. <laughs> At least she's honest. <laughs> but you know, you have to value it. You, that, you, it's, it's something that America has lost. And, and it's pretty prevalent in, in many societies. And that's that elders know stuff. Old folks know stuff. I was raised up without Google, my man. I was raised up without a set of addiction. We was grown before we got encyclopedias. Man, I doubled my IQ in about a week with them encyclopedias. We didn't have Google. We didn't have that. We didn't, have, we, we didn't know how. Come on. We didn't have access to it. But, you know, when I found out about it, it was a good thing. When I, I, could, I, could, I could open the world opened up to me. We just encyclopedias opened up to me. I live my whole life with stupid people. <laughs> Not my wife. She's pretty bright. Sometimes she turns the bulb down, but she's usually pretty bright. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'll be back. <laughs> you know, I don't even forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to make up here. I'm almost in trouble, but I'm going to make up here. <laughs> anyway. But you know that, that, that when you have understanding and you have the value of it, 
We didn't have anything, and we didn't ask anybody. We, I got the encyclopedias after I got married and pretty much, you know, and had children, and I got them, and, and there wasn't any such thing. You know what we did? We asked elders. We would cross, we'd go, well, we'd cross the river. That means we go where it's, well, they out there too, but anyway. And you know what we did? They would say, they would tell you, find old man Clay, he knows all about that. He said, you find Mr. Johnson, he's raised them all his life. You go there and see Mr. Will, he knows all about hogs and pigs. You go, you didn't Google on, on, on what to do with it. Now you can do it, say, oh, that's a tick bite, you know. You go out there and the old man looks at him, what? he said, son, I believe that's a tick bite. Well, I'm going to tell you that, that people today will get their information from anywhere but the Lord. Get their, get their information, but anyway, what God said about it. Amen. You know, we can work away. Now, I, I do like that translation to amplify, but some people get them translation until they finally get one they like. Don't sound like it's getting known to me, can you say? Amen. Proverbs 16, 16. He said, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Do you value it? Do you really value it? Than gold and get understanding rather than choice silver. Now, the word better here doesn't mean in the idea in comparisons. What the word actually means, it means how much or how more is the wealth and the preciousness of it to get wisdom and, than gold and understanding than choice. So get means, you know, that is a, is a funny word here. Now, it means, the word get here, it means to provoke, like to jealousy. It means to possess. It means to purchase. It means to recover. It means to redeem. So if you get it, sometimes you got to purchase back. Be jealous for it. Want it. I don't care if we get You've got to be jealous for this thing. You've you, you got to want this thing. You've got to want God to speak to you. You've got to want God to reveal his word to you. You've got to have you. You've got to be at your house, but we've got to do it a smarter, a smarter way than what we've done it. Isn't it amazing? Or do you value it? He said, you to get. It's better. You know, through my life, I, 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 I understand some things in my life. I, I'm starting to see things different, you know. And over the years, you know, that's what I tell these young people. They just get me. They're like in their 20s and 30s, and they tell me they're tired. <laughs> that's what they told me. And they look like they mean it pretty much. They look, I said, oh, well, how long, well, how long you been here? I just got here. <laughs> I said, well, you might have already had sleep last night. Huh? <laughs> I tell, you know what I tell them when they tell me they're tired? I told them, I tell them, I said, I never got tired till I was 49. 49 or 50, and then I got tired. They've been tired. They look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but you know what, what young people don't know is how well they have it. Yeah. Young people don't know what you got. The world's yours is a oyster. Come on, what you need to do, get hold of Jesus, get full of the Holy Ghost, learn to read and write, and come on, and the rest of it's going to belong to you. Can you say amen? If you don't know, you don't know. Can you say amen? You know, I had to learn a, a list of things that I've understood through wisdom, and some of them I'm trying. I'm on my way, but I'm, I'm making an effort. Can you say amen? You know, I now understand. I, I now understand. It's not what you have in your life. It's who you have in your life. It took a while. I, searched, I looked after things. I looked after stuff. I looked at other people's things. I said, I ought to get me one of them. Can you say Amen. But it ain't about what's in your life. It's about who's in your life. Amen. You know, some people got kids, they, ain't, they don't want to listen to their mind, but they're still in your life. Oh, my goodness. I'll get them later. Amen. I now understand that, and, and, and I probably had to come to terms with this, is that I had to understand not to compare myself to anyone or anything other than what Christ wanted me to be. I had to, I had, I had to compare myself to that. You know, when I, and I preach on that, I, I tell you, say, you should never compare yourself to anybody but yourself. Amen. Now, when you do that, you'll leave everybody alone. When you do that, you won't look bad. Come on. But I had to learn that. But I understand it builds the house. I understand wisdom builds it. I understand. I understand you, you, can, you, I understand you can't make people love you. Even though you love people, I found out you can't, you can't make people love you. But you know what I found out is greater than that? That nobody can stop me from being loved. My mom's saying that. I might be the enemy of the devil, but I'm, the, I'm a love of God. Can you say amen? <laughs> amen. I had to learn that. You know, it takes wisdom you to get to that place. You know, 
You know, I got to understand sometimes it, it takes time for you to become the person that God wants you to be. Amen. It takes a little time. You know, some, I've heard people say, you know, brother, that was just, brother Jerry, it was just when I got older that the Lord started dealing with me. Now it's your time to shine. Can you say amen? It's your place to be. It's right. It's your place. Amen. Do we all get it at the same time? No, we don't. But let me tell you that, that God is the one that's in charge of who you'll be if you let him be in charge of it. Can you say amen? Hmm. You, know, uh, you know, I understand as I teach and I preach, I found out that how respons- you know how responsible you are for your actions? People are listening when you think they're not. People are looking when you're not. I've been asked, Brother Jerry, what was you doing over by your truck? And I think, that's what I was doing. Be watching for the right thing. Amen. This morning they were singing the uh, New Jerusalem song. Uh, and that Jerusalem comes down. Yeah, I know I can't sing, but it's fun. And then uh, one that said, I'm about to get out and shout. I'm about to skid in the brakes, let her out on the highway. You know what I mean? I said, I won't see it. Amen. <laughs> but I had the wisdom not to pull over. <laughs> you know, I, I found out something, you know, is. You say, this is little stuff, but are you doing it? You see, wisdom and, and wisdom and understanding will bring you to the place, amen. amen. You got to understand, sometimes you're not always right. That was a big blow to me. <laughs> that was a very big blow to me. <laughs> you know what I found out? If I don't control my attitude, my attitude will control me. If I don't control what's going on with me, what's going on with me will control me. You see, amen. You see, but what we rather do now, I, I went a lot of years blaming other people. Y'all don't know. You see, I struggle with my field in the blanks, must be them, me acting like that, that's in. Y'all don't know. Let me tell you, as fun as it looks like, it's not always fun being Jerry. I'm just going to let you know. Everybody thinks my wife goes home and she's. I'm, uh, this is the noise box in the morning. She wants to talk. I'm like, she'll say, what does? <laughs> so sometimes she ought to take advantage <laughs> of me being quiet, <laughs> but her understanding is lacking. <laughs> You know, I, I understand. It took, me a, it took me a while. But I understand true heroes are men and women of God that stay the course when nobody's around. Amen. I had to learn that. I, I had to learn to just because just somebody there. You know, it, it's not hard to be good when people are watching. It's not hard. Come on, somebody. It's not, it's not too hard. A man once told me one time, and I believe it's true, he said, a man of God is what he is in the dark when nobody's around. I said, that dude knows what he's talking about, and I'm tired of listening to him. Amen. (laughs) You know what the dark is. That's where you're by yourself. That's where you're looking that way, nobody looking back. That's why you were talking about that and thinking that. Oh, y'all, oh, my goodness. I'm going to go back up here. Because ain't nobody got the right to look at me like that but Jesus. (laughs) You know, I had to understand that people not always going to be there, but God is. I understand that. I understand. And it doesn't mean they don't love you. It don't mean they don't like you. It don't mean they don't care. You just got to understand that sometimes God arranges it where nobody needs to be around but you and him. Can you see him? Lots of times we'll miss that appointment because we're Googling. <laughs> I'm back to Google. Here we are. You know that I found this out and it was probably, it was probably hard for me. And I found out that some of the very people that's not always there for me are the people that I need to be there for. You know what we'll do? Well, they don't help me in my time. Oh, he wasn't your little Messiah. (laughs) He wasn't your little Savior. Go ahead and forgive him. And be what he could not to you. I always said, Brother Jerry, how you know this stuff? That ain't none of your business right now. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> and this was a big one for me. And, and when I, you, you hear me preach and teach about forgiveness all the time. It's one of those things. It's in all my notes, and here we are with it again today. I don't know. <laughs> somebody going to hear it. Somebody going to need it. <laughs> but you know what I found out? That it's not enough just to forgive others. It's not enough to just forgive people. Sometimes you got to forgive yourself. Sometimes you got to forgive where you're at in the matter. You say you're sorry, but did you forgive you? Did you move on? Come on, somebody. You know, some people do things and, and we're willing to, and we get right with the Holy Ghost and get right with His Word of God and we're willing to forgive them and move on. But sometimes people are not willing to forgive themselves. And I've learned through wisdom of God, it's better on the diet, it's better on the weight gain, it's better on the blood pressure, it's better on everything. Just go ahead and get rid of it. Go ahead and go. Can you say amen? Then I found out some people's never going to act like they forgave me. You know, we try to go in that. Don't worry if a man, then they should, we should address it, that we'll get that done. But let me tell you, the power of the blood is to cleanse us and wash us from all unrighteousness. We have no need to stay back there. The devil don't have any right to talk to you. The enemy's over back this way. And what we need to move forward, and I understand. Sometimes you need to do that. I understand that, that no matter when your heart breaks, the world don't stop. World don't stop. But we think it ought to. You know what we should be doing? We should know that the Father will stop and comfort us. If we allow him, can you say amen? You know, I got to understand it. I'm responsible to Christ in the new life. I mean, y'all believe you got a responsibility in the new life. Amen. I understand you. you this, this is a good one. You know, I understand through wisdom and, and, and uh, understand, I understand you ought not be so anxious to find out stuff on other people. Yeah. But look at me. Everybody got secrets, Amen. including you and me. Oh, they ain't bad. They under the blood, but nobody wants to get up and tell them at church. <laughs> but you know some people... Eager to find out the dirty. Can you say amen? Some people, they want to find out the, uh, uh, what's wrong. And they don't want to find out for prayer. They want to find out for entertainment. I guess we could call it gossip obtaining. <laughs> Just obtaining gossip. You know, I've learned. It's better to tend to your business than somebody else's. I learned that. So, bro, Jerry, but don't, yeah, but some people ain't got it. I'm getting back up here. I didn't know. I just wanted to write that down. <laughs> and y'all know me. I will come back. <laughs> y'all get to give me a few more minutes. You know, I now understand. And I understand this. I had to let my, I was telling that, sharing with Sister Jessica. I, I, I understand that, that, that no matter what you do with your kids, your kids still at some time are disturbed or get hurt. I understand that. I've had to tell my son, no, let, go sleep under a bridge. We say, no, we're not putting you in there. We're not sending you no money. We tell, we, and you know what I do? I right, sure I'm tough. Then I go get in my bed and I cry. Yeah. But I told him, no, you worry that? He's right, has a job, been right about nine years, off him drugs. Come on, loves Jesus. Can you say amen? Sometimes, sometimes you, got, you got to understand with your kid. You need, you need to hold the line of what you said. My kids ain't boss at my house. I run my kids out one day. They just cussing, dropping their bombs. I said, stop cussing in my house. They did it. I said, get out of here. All of you, get out of here. The mom was going. They getting out of there. Daddy's done flipped his wig. It's amazing if I raise my voice what happens over at my house. Attitudes go down. Ears get open. Oh, y'all don't know. And sometimes I believe the father raises his voice just a little bit, get our attention. Sometimes he cares enough, say, you know. Now, my granddaughter the other day, you know, she's four, smart as a whip. She's after them biscuits. She conned me. I mean, she asked me to fix her some biscuits. <laughs> I fixed her some biscuits, and she come in the kitchen, and she told me, Bob, I said, the biscuits. I said, yeah, baby. She said, told me that. She's going to put them in a the bag. I said, okay. I said, okay, I'll put you some in. I'll put you some to go. She said, all right. After a while, we looking for Amaya. She's gone. She's done crossed the road by herself. 
Avery, I mean, Avery. She done crossed the road by herself. Now she's four. And her mama got her. She said, well, I look both ways. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, she, she, now she's, she's on the reel now. Nobody told her about cars run over. Nobody really. Well, we told her to look both ways. Not, we're trying to not be like be scared to cross the road. But, you know, we didn't tell her anything about people pick you up. Didn't tell her about stranger danger. You know, we didn't tell her about these things. And she goes, and they're tripping. Amen. I said, she's all right. And I'm screaming from across the thing. I said, I'd whip her. <laughs> then I'm thinking, I'm going to get in the house and they might do it. <laughs> they did. <laughs> but sometimes you know that no matter what you do for your kids, no matter what you do with your children, great or grand, sometimes they get in the scuffle and you can't help it. Yeah. You got to understand that they are a heritage, they go through things, yeah. there are kids. And, and, and we can lose a protection around them. We, we can speak over them, can you say? Amen. I want to let you know that. And some people think because your kids went through something. Let me tell you what. Going through something what got my son on the straight and narrow. Amen. I'm sure he probably steps off like we do every now and then. <laughs> I know y'all don't. But, you know. Amen. You know, I understand that, uh, that, that, that <laughs> you know, but it's fact that people change. But I don't have to be a person to change for the bad. You know, just because your friend changes, you don't have to change friends. Now, friends change and they change friends, but, but you don't have to because they change. Just be loving and kind and be the real deal. Wisdom it gets you, you to deal with people. And people that have not wisdom, that have not understand, they struggle with other relationships. They feel, like I said, they're filling in the blanks. He's black, so this way. She, she's white, she's this way. They, they, they Asian, this way. They're overweight, they this way. Oh, y'all got quite Write that down, sister, one with that other note. <laughs> what will we name that message? Things pastor says I don't like. <laughs> There's a list. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I need to get that to me, amen. You know, sometimes, you know, I had to learn this. And I'm going to get past these kids in a minute. When my kids was growing up, they was pretty much perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to understand your kids are not perfect. And more often than not, they're in the wrong <laughs> with other children. Remember, I remember that. that remember that when you, everybody, everybody's kid that ever got in trouble got with the wrong crowd. <laughs> My kid got with your kid. Now what happened? <laughs> Amen. You got to understand that, that, that when, when I get to that place to really get where God wants me to do and where God wants me to have and what he said I could have, I got to understand it's been paid for. I got to have the wisdom to ask, the faith to stay in it. Can you say Amen. You know, sometimes we, we, we let things go over that ought not be going over. Some things we're, ta- we, we're all about that we shouldn't. Sometimes we make big deals out of little things. And big things, we don't make no deal. Where are we going over there? Can you say amen? <laughs> Won't you stand with me this morning? I want you to understand that the wisdom and understanding, you can deal with people, you can deal with life. So, Brother Jerry, what what do you do in this case? Well, what's the wise thing? What does the Word say about this thing? Amen. (laughs) You know, sometimes you you work with kids, and sometimes you you, you got kids. How many of you know kids can be difficult? Well, the Father's kids sometimes difficult, too. So, Father, what I want you to do is, is come into my life and move in my life. Father, what I, what I need is wisdom in this situation. Can you imagine how many people have broke the bank in their bodies and a lot of things lacking wisdom? Now, when I was a boy, they sick me on a hot, on an electric fence wire one time. One time. One time. <laughs> Let me tell you, church folks, we ought not have to be whipped down to be made do right. We ought not have to suffer to get the, the master's voice. We are not have to suffer. We should hear him. We should come to him and worship him and ask God for wisdom. Ask God for the word of God. Ask God to lead you. Ask God what the answer is. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right to a man. He said, but the end there is destruction. 
Now, you know, he didn't say there's a way of bad stuff. There's a way of pillaging. There's a way. No, he didn't say. He said there's a way that seems right to him. When you figure it up and look it up, that it's all right. What would it not be for this to be a good thing? But that's not the wisdom of God. You know, I found out over the years. (laughs) Old people weren't born smart. (laughs) Old people weren't born wise. You know what they did? They lived and they overcame. Isn't it an honor to trust God for wisdom? Isn't it an honor? Lord, I I don't know really what's going on with my kids. Why do they give me understanding? Lord, I don't know how I'm going to get these bills paid. Give me wisdom. Lord, I don't know how I'm I'm going to make this happen. Ask God to lead you and ask God to come to that place because the house is established by wisdom. It's the word. He works within that. He said, you can't even instruct a fool. He'd just be foolish. I don't want to be like that. I want to be instructed. I want to be instructable. How you would say that? I want to be one that can take instructions. You know what you got to take them? Father, we just come to you in Jesus' name. We proclaim, Father God, your word to wise us up in wisdom. Father, your word says if we lack, lack, let us ask. And we ask, Father God, wisdom in our families, Lord, wisdom with our mates, wisdom in our health, Father God, our kids, our greats, our grands, Father, in life. Just people stuff, Father, we just ask for wisdom. And we know you care about us, Lord, because you said you did. (laughs) We know you died for us because the word of God says you did. We know it's finished because you said it was. We thank you this morning, Father God, to lighten our loads, Lord, and let us turn these things over to you, Father. We don't have to. Just control people or be controlled. We don't have to have people stuff, Lord. We ask for the word, Father God. We ask to be delivered and set free. We thank you this day, Father God, that you are the true answer, Lord, the true wisdom. Give us the understanding, Lord, to love each other. Give us the understanding, Lord, why we don't get past where we are. Why a man or a woman stuck, Father God. We ask you the wisdom to unstick, Lord God, and move them forward. We thank you, Father God, this day, Lord, for doing those things we cannot in families, Lord. Thank you this day, Father, for the wisdom, the understanding, Father God. I don't have to fill in the blanks, Lord. I can trust you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Give the Lord a big hand clap of praise this morning. We appreciate it.